<laughs> oh dear, Tristan. Go and look for the wild dogs, man. <laughs> but look, everybody, we found some elephant. I said I'd love to find elephant this morning. And we found a beautiful little herd, small herd. Um, a lot of young elephant. Up there, look, like the youngsters shaking his head at us. Now, Stacy, you were asking me earlier about elephants and charging and... You know, Stacey, there's no reason to ever be fearful of elephant. Um, you always have to show respect for all the animals. But in this situation, these elephants are completely relaxed and comfortable with us being around them. There are a lot of different signs that you can look for. Um, flapping of the ears, perhaps if they stop feeding, um, um, lifting their heads. The, you know, elephants give you a lot of warning signs to show that they are unhappy. But there's never a reason to to fear the elephant. Um, I do believe that the elephant are gentle giants, unless they feel threatened. Um, so if you sit quietly and view them and allow them to approach you, then um, then they are they are very relaxed and wonderful to view. Now there was some little parlor alarm calling behind us, not far from me, I'm literally, I'm just going to move forward quickly, um, just a little bit, but uh, literally just behind us, there's some impala alarm calling, but we've had a look around, and I, I don't see anything, I, I don't see any sign of a predator around here, I'm not sure if the impala are just being a little bit um, paranoid, perhaps, beautiful f adult female, you might hear those impala, they're snorting. Yeah, do you hear that? You can hear it's one male impala standing, but there's a, a group of impala around there and and I do think that if the if those impala were alarm calling at a predator, they all probably would have alarmed. That is that's just one male giving a few snorts. Maybe he is the only one who thought he saw something, but I know, yeah, a lot of you are all very excited and happy to see the elephants and have a look at that little one, the youngster. I'm glad. I, you all know how much I love the elephant. Enjoy spending time with them. Even though there's a snorting impala behind us, but I don't see any sign of a predator around here. Oh, Janine, thank you. You say thanks for finding your favorite animal. Only a pleasure, Janine. We're lucky. Nice, nice to just drive around and uh, and bump into these animals. What a great morning, though. I mean, leopards early on, then Tristan finding the wild dogs, and now some elephant. Fantastic morning. Oh. I'm, I don't want to say it, but the boys' drive seems to be doing pretty well this morning. We'll have to see what the girls can find this afternoon on the sunset safari. Oh, raising it. I, I, I hear a challenge coming on. Taylor's not shy of a challenge. She always challenges us to various things. We'll, just, we'll see what she says later, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to challenge anyone today. <laughs> it's Friday. Now these elephants are all enjoying and they're all feeding on these bush willows. Now I want to show you. Let me move forward a little bit again. Judy H. <laughs> <laughs> you say goal number three for the boys team. <laughs> Thank you, Judy H. <laughs> and also, um, Judy H, thank you very much for the information on the spec boom yesterday that we were talking, talking about. Um, we were speaking about a spec boom, also known as the elephant bush. And it's predominantly found in the Eastern Cape. I said I, I think it's, it's 
found in the Karoo, parts of the Karoo, but mostly in the Eastern Cape, down in Kwandwe. Uh, there's one area that it's found, um, and um, in those areas, the elephant loved to feed on that tree. It was a tree that we were speaking about yesterday. We don't get it around here, but it, um, yeah, so the elephant do enjoy feeding on it. Chitty Chatty Meg, good morning or good evening. Um, where you are, I'm sure. Um, you asked if all animals have a scent or an odor. Um, well, if you get close to Tristan, there's definitely an odor that, <laughs> that exudes from him. <laughs> um, but uh, Meg, yes, there there are animals do have various odors. The elephant, you can definitely smell elephant. Um, <laughs> Look at this little one, isn't that cute? Very brave with mom behind him. Waving the trunk, flapping the ears, trying to show off. Um, Meg, also there's a, um, there's a, uh, one of the antelope species, the, uh, the waterbuck has got a very pungent smell. And often if they just run across the road in front of you, um, you can and and if you continue driving, you you'll pick up on that scent very clearly, very kind of musty scent that comes off the the water buck. Um, and then the the other animal that's got a strong smell is the wild dog that Tristan's been trying to follow. They've got um, they've got a very very pungent smell, kind of a wet do <laughs> wet dog smell. Um, they um, yeah, not uh, not great to follow the wild dogs. If you just follow them, driving behind them, you pick up on the smell. They do stink. They don't smell very, very good. I'm just going to move forward. There's a nice little gap, I think, of these two elephants. Oh, it's so nice to be able to spend time with some elephant again. There we go. Country I was recently in the Kalahari. There's no elephant there. Um, it's too dry for them, I think. That's one of the main reasons. Now, as, as I was saying earlier, how these elephant are feeding on the bush willows at the moment. Now, they are complete, a lot of them are very, very dry. So it's not necessarily for the leaves. If you have a look, and there, actually, that little one, see, he's got that branch. And what they're doing, a branch or piece of bark, the elephant feed on the bark. The bark contains a lot of nutrients. So that's what those elephant are, are predominantly feeding on. They'll break some branches and then strip them. They roll the branch in their mouth, they strip the bark off, and that's what they feed on. So they get more nutrients. You see that female's doing it over there, rolling that branch in her mouth. And there they go. Yeah, the fish eagle calling in the distance, probably the one at the dam. We are still on Chitwa Chitwa at the moment. Not too far from the dam, I suppose. As the fish eagle flies, we're probably about a kilometer, two kilometers. <laughs> See what I did there. <laughs> So nice to sit with the elephants for a while and just listen, listening to them breaking the branches. And, you know, they still for these for large animals, they're actually very quiet. But you will every now and then you hear the crack of a branch. Or, but moving through the bush, they're very quiet. T Ran Jeezy, you asked if elephants scent mark. No, they do not. They don't, not at all. Um, elephants are not territorial, and um, and there's no reason for them to scent mark, but they don't. But they'll leave a scent, obviously, and they can pick up on uh, on various elephants that have moved through the area by by the scent. 
and and that's basically the urine or the dung or you know the elephants their sense of smell is so incredible that they'd be able to find one another from quite a distance away if they if they were looking for other elephants you males do it when they're looking for the females I pick up on the scent of a female and then they um, they will follow a herd of elephant so they'll definitely pick up on the scent of the of each other but they don't actively scent mark not at all Isn't this wonderful? So nice to spend time with these elephant. They're moving off a little bit now. The others have gone down through this thicket to our left. It's just this big female we can still see. Even the youngsters disappeared somewhat. Lovely little sighting. There they go. Justin, I'm not sure how an elephant's life would be or how difficult an elephant's life. Oh, hang on, Justin's found the dogs. Let's go back to him quickly. 